Hello. Hey, how are you? I'm well, and yourself? Good, we were just watching your live, looking at some of your content. Mm-hmm. I heard about you, but I don't really know much about you. My, I just came to my best friend's house, and she was saying she was looking at your videos, and she was offended by your content, but I haven't seen it, so I don't know what is supposedly so offensive about you. The truth. Okay. The truth tends to offend many women today. But you know what? Who's not offended? The eight black couples that have gotten together in the last six months and the three black women who've gotten engaged in the last six months of knowing me. And and credit my groups and, and credit my groups and my information is the reason why they're that way. So uh, I don't know three black women are getting married and one found a multi-million dollar attorney. So why is your friend pissed off again? No one's pissed off. You just you just be feeling like you're entitled. Uh, you excuse feel, me. You feel entitled, like yeah. You, you, see, this woman doesn't know me, and see, see, instead of, instead of saying, you know what, I didn't know that, and that's a good thing. I appreciate that eight black couples have gotten together and three black families are about to be Kevin, married. It's That's not about good. That no, hard. no. Instead of saying that, instead of saying a good thing, she wants to be off camera. If you're gonna talk, at least get on camera. Don't don't be tri don't be like that. <laughs> She's like, you're you gonna have like a smoke. Bring your ass on camera. She's like in a little pearl, like in her nightclothes and stuff. Right. It's the person who's live that I'm on. I'm on her live. So oh, okay. Well, so anyway, I will talk to you because obviously, you seem to have a different energy. If Man, people don't come onto my show just because I'm rude. And just be, and if why well, would fifteen thousand people show up nightly if I was full of shit, lying, and just being rude? Me, that wouldn't even make any sense. So, what do you think is our people's issue about you? The truth. But what I think, is, that, I, think is I think that I think that one of the biggest issues are with this last video that happened when a woman rated herself being average, and I agree. And then when I but said, do you think yeah. the woman's value is in the way that she looks? Uh, well, in let me ask you a question. Okay, hair. let me ask you a question. How old are you? 27. 27. Is a man's value in how productive he is? I feel like everyone's value should be in their character, so yeah. No, no I said a man's value is in how productive he is. Yes, and a woman's as well, but I don't feel like it. No, it no, 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 ma'am. I asked you, is a yeah. man's value, okay. And a woman's value to a man, men are visual. Initially, it is how you look. Okay. But my question is, why do modern women reject what women for thousands of years have accepted? What is but that? expect men to still be the same way? You still expect men to provide, right? Right, but I don't think this is only to the extent of physical appearance. I feel like if you compensate, you can always compensate in other ways. Like I've, I've seen, and, and we've all seen it to where maybe it would be a very attractive guy with a woman who is not conventionally as attractive and he does value her and he loves her and... All right, but, okay, how about this? <clears throat> Get a hundred of your male friends and ask them what they want. No, I understand. Studies that's what I'm saying. And, and that's the thing. I agree. And that's, the, and, and that's the point. I'm saying what men not. would say. I am saying what men would say. And the issue is... Women have no problem saying, I want a man who's six foot tall, six figures, six pack. I don't want no scrubs, ain't nothing going on with the <laughs> rent. I don't want no, but then when a man says he just has a standard too, there's all of a sudden an issue. Well, I don't have to have somebody six feet. You, as long as you're two inches taller than me, I'm fine. But exactly, but, but, if you're five, nine, but hold on, ma'am, hold on, but ma'am, but that still is a standard. That still okay. is a preference. And men have theirs as well. See, what we've told women, and men can have preferences. I'm not. I'm not. But apparently me. not. Apparently not, because women can have their preferences. And well, we're generalizing they, right hold, now. Hold on, hold on. We're hold about on. Hold on. Hold on. Women have been putting. They have been memorializing what they want in movie and song for my entire life. When men just have the nerve to respond when asked, all of a sudden we're entitled in toxic masculinity. I don't, I don't think that you guys are, are entitled by wanting preferences, first of all. I will say that. Okay. What, what my, I'm not disputing that. Like, everyone is entitled to have their w whatever that, you know, that they want. But what I'm saying is that I don't, I, it seems like what you're saying, and, I'm, and correct me if I'm wrong, is that a woman's, like, her value in all 
is I never said absolutely no no see that's another thing you won't have to tell me where well, I that's what I'm this. telling you I'm not telling you that's what well that's the thing I, I have never said that I have never said that but that's a woman the forefront of the conversation is kind of okay what okay let me finish can I get it out okay if you you ask me to tell you then when I tell you you tell you talking over me no, so listen, I mean, but I'm conversing with you because I want you to you're understand. You're not conversing because I'm only you're the only one talking. Man, have you watched one of my videos, a three-hour video from front to back? That girl situation when he was ranking. That okay, girl. You're not paying attention. When he was what? Talk to him. I'm have listening. you watched I'm one sorry. of my video? Have you watched a full video of mine from front to back? One one of my live streams. I just thought. I just saw one video. Um, was it the whole? I think it was a whole video of some girl when you when you were. I guess she ranking asked her. her. He was ranking her. He asked her what her what what he her asked her was. what she ranked herself. So in other words, no. I have a full three hour show that I do, and you watched a seven minute clip of a thirty minute conversation I had. I challenge you and your friend to go back to my channel no, and no. watch the full so 30 minutes. Ah, oh, no, so see, I'm not going to do this. Yeah, if you either going to get on the camera, I'm not going to talk to them. I'm not going to, I'm not doing this work. Either I'm going to talk to you or we're going to have to do it. Be in, if she's going to get on the camera, get on the camera. The contest. So I'm just, I, I mean, I guess. No, ma'am, ma'am. See, here's, see, and this I'm is the problem. I, but, but, but you haven't even, you haven't even responded to what I said. This is when women say become disingenuous. You're asking me questions. You're saying something, and I said you have not even watched the video from front to back. You haven't even watched the full video of where the excerpt was coming from. And then, but your friend has the nerve to make a judgment, and I find that very rich. That women have no problem judging men on partial information. Stop generalizing women, please. I, no, I'm, I will generalize women because I speak to plenty. Of, I will. I will generalize. I will generalize women when I have enough information to be general. And you act, you women are acting just like so many women who get upset. You have little to no information. You're not willing to do the work. And then when I challenge you to do something else, you want to speak to I didn't accuse opinion. you of anything. Have you noticed? I, re I literally just asked you, what is your philosophy? Like, what, what is it that you think people are upset about? I literally came in with no judgment. And I said, no, no, but as we have gotten into it, you asked me and I said the truth. Right, about. but but more so, what I'm asking you about is what we're talking about now. Like I haven't, uh, I haven't made any assumptions based on anything that I've seen previously. Me and you are conversing, and we've had, and I've talked to you enough to ask you certain questions, and what you're responding to, I'm responding back to it. So you're you're referring to past videos, but I'm referring to the things that you're telling me now. The only, you're question you've asked me, the only question you've asked me, the only question you've asked me is a woman's value in her look. Then you're also the only question you've asked me. But you don't even let me, you don't even let other people talk. You're asking me how old I am. You're generalizing women. Let's about I mean, there's just no talking to some of these people. And like your unattractive friend who did not want to get on the camera with all that masculine energy, women like her are angry at the truth. This is why this will always work. I mean, this angry. Why are you mad? Are you? Yes. And you're alone. You're alone and you will likely end up like most women like you, dying alone. And no amount of being angry, upset, argumentative, vile, disgusting, masculine, rude, is going to change what your outcome is going to be. And that's what bothers so many of these ladies. Because they're having to face the fact that many women like her are simply unfit for relationships. Thank you. She put her cute friend on the camera because we know, come on. And even if she was attractive, your personality is through. I mean, reverting to curse words. I mean, you want to, you ain't doing this, you ain't doing it. Look, you, ain't even, you haven't even bothered to watch the video. And I, like I say, you cannot make this stuff up. You can't make it up. And women like your friend are becoming the laughing stock. I don't understand if women like you really understand how the world is looking at y'all right now. There's nothing to aspire to. 
something to be proud of. And all you end up having at the end of the day is just insults, petty childhood taunts, insults. And then when you get met back with that same kind of mirror, you can't handle it. Thank you for proving my point. Thank you for proving my point. She's for Sarah. You can't believe this is the. No, this is real life. This is real life. The ability to sit back and arbitrate, to sit back and just go do the work yourself. But instead, the low level of contempt and lack of respect. So many women like her have for the average black man. They're not going to go. What? Go watch a video? I'm not going to watch a video of you. You're just a black man. Go, go do homework and research what you said. How dare you expect me to do that? You're just a black man. You're beneath me. No, no. Instead, I'm going to question you like you're 27, even though you're 51. And I'm going to have this miscellaneous black woman talk to you like you're 27 and 51 years old. There's no respect. So ma'am, thank you for proving my point. Don't argue, oh, shit. They are going, I am going to continue to do exactly what I'm doing. And I am going to become very, very successful at continuing to push forward the women who want, see what's going on right now is a separation. The women who want to be with men and all the others See, the woman who wanted to be with me was like that woman who showed up. The first woman that came in with the hair done, smiles and the pearls, that's a woman who wanted to be with me. And the other sister who came in, see, the women who came in, like the last other woman, just compare and contrast. You can tell the women who wanted to be with men versus the other ones. And that's what this does. It helps you separate the ones that you need to just say, hey, sis, do you. Don't argue with them. Just leave them over there. The ones that don't, with all that masculine energy, they're gonna argue with them. But now the problem, now what's happening is the separation is happening. And women are starting to say, I don't wanna be like her. I don't wanna be like her and I don't wanna hang with her. That's what's going on. Women are starting to separate themselves from their negative energy friends. And to the 27 year old that I was speaking to, I hope you get away from that woman because you sound like you might have had a, a shot. But her, she would never let you hear anything other than what she wants you to believe. I simply asked you to go watch the video, but she ain't gonna let you do that. Go watch it. She can't keep you from watching it because no matter what you say, you cannot sit down and make this a caricature. Well, everybody's wrong. It's just a bunch of woman hating the women. Bash then, then go watch the video. Go look at it for yourself. All the videos are up. Go look at it for yourself. Don't listen to what she's telling you it is. Go watch it. I dare you. And then what'll happen? You'll do just like so many other sisters have done. You know what? I'm wrong. When I first approached you, I thought it was this. And now what's that? I thought it was this. And now it's that. And also remember when I said, what about the eight black couples that have gotten together in the last six months as a result of my Facebook group? And the three, one, two, three engagements. You notice they didn't address that at all. Now, if Steve, if somebody else had said that or a woman had said that, they'd have got it. But they cannot, you will not give a black man that you disagree with any credit. When the testimonials are up on YouTube, go look at it for yourself. The videos are up. The video testimonials saying, thank you, Kevin, for helping me find my wife. Thank you, Kevin, for helping me get, get together my boo. Thank you. They're up. I put it on the wood. But again, that is the extent that so many women like that woman off the screen don't matter. You are a black man and you are to be disrespected because you are, there's no such thing. There are women who like her to say, there are no such thing as high value black men. You're all scrubs. We're all dusty. We're all busted. We're all cracked. And that's why I do what I do. 
because women will, women like that woman will tell you, well, if you go do this and do this, do this, do this, and then I'll submit, then I'll be this and I'll be that. And then when you do all that, they'll just move the goalpost. That's why I said you can't win with those. So it's better to find out who they are and just let them be and go on over with the women that want to be different. And the women who want to be different, this is the time when you raise your hand and say, I'm not like them. I'm not like them. I see where that ends. I see where it ends and it ends poorly. I don't want to end up like my mama, my big mama, my auntie, nay, nay, nay. I want to do something different. What you want to do is learn how to get along with the men who share your reflection. Oh, I'm going to post it. I'm going to post it everywhere. I'm going to post it. I'm going to boost it. But you can't post it. Also, by the way, uh, I said it before, I said it again. Don't just go upload my videos without asking my permission. You just upload my content without asking my permission. Um, that's not cool. And I don't, and I'm not going to just sit around and ask you questions. They'll just be coming down. Mm-hmm. I'm not like them. Thank you very much. Most women aren't like them. Most women aren't like them. Just like most black men want to marry black, just like most black men want to marry black women. Most people are decent. It's just the people who aren't have had the microphone too long. It's time for the people who want something better to start speaking up, to start drowning out that foolishness. I am so glad that you called in, ma'am. I'm so glad that your friend let you use her account because this is a perfect way to end it. I started a broadcast trying to help put women with men. That's what the whole purpose of this was for, to use my platform to highlight the best of women and the best of men, put them together. That's the purpose. That's the reason. And I've talked to women who wanted those things. Talked about the couples that have already gotten together, but then you still get somebody like that who has the nerve to come in and say, just come through kicking stuff over, forget all that. I'ma just piss and crap all over your stuff. Thank you for twerking on my furniture. Thank you for twerking on my furniture. That's what we do. Thank you for twerking on the furniture. And when they twerk on your furniture, you don't argue with them. You just have security usher them out. You don't let them back in. So the next time, peace out.